Today, let's build an audio transcription app using Whisper and Gradio. So a while back, I did a video on building an audio transcription app using Whisper and Streamlit, and it got great response and a lot of comments, which was really great. And so I decided to do a second video on the same topic using Gradio this time to make it a little bit simpler and easier to run. Also, I promised someone in the comments to do that, so I always try to keep my promises. Okay, so we're gonna start by simply importing the dependencies that we need. So we're gonna import Gradio as GR, and we're gonna import Whisper for doing the audio transcription. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write a function called transcribe audio, which will take in a file path and output the transcription of that file, the audio file path. Then we're gonna set up the model from whisper by just doing whisper.load model and we're going to use the base model because you know it works really well for english and now we're going to just set up the result as the calling the model.transcribe function from the whisper model that we loaded and to that transcribe function we're going to feed the audio file which is just going to be the file path to that audio and finally, we're going to return the transcription. So that's easy enough. Now we're going to set up our main function. And the main function is going to be for building the interface in Gradio. And that will take in an audio input, which is going to be Gradio input audio, which is something that we can just drag and drop an audio file, or we can just click it and then upload from our local desktop. The source is going to be called upload and the type is going to be called file path because that's what this function accepts in order to run and now we're going to say output text is equal to gr.outputs.textbox and why textbox because it's the text box that's going to be carrying it's going to be having the um, it's going to have the um, transcription of the audio file path Finally, once we've set that up, we're just going to set up our interface as gradio.interface. And then we're going to say that the function for our interface is the transcribe audio function, which is the function we just defined over there. Now we're going to set up the inputs as we're going to set up the inputs as the audio input, right? And we're going to set up the outputs as the output that we just define here this variable that carries the output from the text box okay that's perfect so now what we can do is I can come here and I can say um, let's set up a title for our app it's just gonna be audio transcription app because you know why not and a quick description is just gonna be upload an audio file and hit the submit button there we go oh, perfect now we got it nice let's have this thing over here perfect now that we have that we have to launch our interface so we're going to just call launch and that's our app in a nutshell because python is amazing and we can build super complex and interesting stuff with just a few lines of code and now i can just say if name equal main i'm going to call the main function which is going to set up my transcription or the transcription app and now that i have all of that we can test it so i can come here and say python audio transcription app i already have all gradio and whisper install so if you don't run pip install gradio whisper etc so now we're running the audio transcription app which should open here on the browser on my right so let's take a look at that we'll click on the link that's provided and now this is our simple app and i'm going to click here on the audio i already have an audio file set up we can listen to it awesome and now i can hit submit and i will do a magic trick Chajan. and there we have it here's our transcription for the audio input that we set up i'm going to set up a nicely organized github repo with this project so that you can run it just by running one command 
and I want to make it easy for you guys because you guys gave me a lot of cool input and a bunch of awesome comments for the last video that I did on audio transcription. So I wanted to do that again in a simpler way and make it easy so that for those of you that want to use it, you can just go to my repo and just clone and run and so Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Cheers.